Hey, 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 welcome. If you are new here, welcome back. If you have been here before, I am Freya. This is Budgie Budgets and today is Sunday, which means we're doing our budget with me, weekly check-in and uh, cash unstuffing. But first, I wanted to let you know that you are gorgeous. Just in case no one else has told you today, I just thought I would let you know. And now we're going to play, um, we're going to do the, this little <laughs> things they didn't teach you in school game, <laughs> um, just because it's a bit funny. So let's see what random fact we can learn today. So uh, what is special about the door at number 10 Downing Street? I feel like I know that. I feel like it only opens... I feel like you can't open it from the outside. I feel like people from the UK will be yelling that they already know that. Yeah, it can only be opened from the inside. Well, that's cool. <laughs> there you go. Um, does that mean there always has to be someone there? There must be, right? Like that must mean that there is always someone in residence there, like someone overnight all the time. Oh, they, do they live there? I think they do, don't they? Oh, I really don't know. Anyway. Okay, that is our little random fact for today. We are going to start today with um, some unstuffing and we have a fair bit to unstuff you guys and I will tell you why as we go along. So we are going to take this $10 out of clothes um, because hubby and I have been to, I am sorry, it's very dark today so we've got some glare going on. Oh, and I forgot to introduce, this is my little fairy friend. Um, my youngest little girl decided to draw me a fairy and said that she had to be in my video. So she's literally, I didn't even realize that she did that, but she's literally stuck her down with tape onto my, <laughs> onto my desk mat. I can't remember if she told me a name for her. I'll have to ask her. She wants to help me with mini Mondays later. So I'll ask her what her name is then. <laughs> this is the fairy that that's now a little mascot for my channel, apparently. Okay, skincare is also being completely unstuffed. That is because I went and bought some new uh, face wash for my oldest daughter. Um, what else? I think that's all for in here. Then medical is losing 50. Now that is because you'll see in my budget in a minute that I brought in money from Etsy to pay for my, um, it's called a Neo Walk walking stick that I got um but I brought in $200 for Etsy I'm covering the rest of it with this it's probably I think it was like an extra $35 or something I've rounded up to 50 because I also bought something else um for my teeth I bought myself a water pick because I'm terrible at flossing my teeth um and it was 169 I think it was but I knew that I was going to be a pain in the neck to break it out from here so I'm taking out 150 160 and the other nine will be covered by what I took out of medical um which knocks my dental down a little bit which sucks a little bit but also um I'm hoping that will be really good for my teeth um and then in oh school's losing 20 now this is what I mean when I say that I reconcile my all of my categories when I do my end of month. So when I did my end of month, I went and compared that to what I've got on record in my digital thing where I, that's where I track all of my transactions and everything. And I actually only have $40 left in school. I don't know why. I'm not sure where that $20 has gone, what I've spent it on. I can't remember, but at some point I must have bought something and forgot to unstuff the money. So I'm unstuffing that now. And then uniform. Hmm, this is going to be a little bit tricky. Uniform, I we might need to we might be able to juggle this with what we've got here. Let's just have a look. I need to unstuff. I decided to take the cost of my son's shoes out of uniform. Um, and so we need to unstuff 130. So if we've got 220 and we're taking out 130, then we should have is it $90 left? Is that right? <laughs> Uh, see, what did I say? 220 minus 130. Yes, yeah, so we should have 90 left. Oh, so that's okay. That works out well. Okay. So, 
In total, I think we should have earned stuff to like $400. Let's have a look. So and obviously most of it was already in the bank. So that's kind of handy. Uh, so we've got two, three, 350, $370, $380, $390, $400 on the knocker. So that's been an expensive, very, very spendy little week. Um, and literally nearly all of that spending has happened in like the last 24 hours, um, which is a little bit insane, but you know, it's all good. Um, yeah, it's all things that we, oh, I mean, not necessarily all needed per se, but um, yeah. Uh, okay, actually I might do round up first. Sorry guys, I'm a little bit a little bit scattered it is miserable here today like it just started the skies opened and it started bucketing down and it has just not stopped um i don't know where that beautiful spring weather that we had early in the week has disappeared to but i don't appreciate it okay i've got my like favorite calculator because i'm sick of that other one it's always it's always been mean to me you guys um okay so this week this will tell you how much of a spendy spendy week we've had before you even see my weekly wrap up my weekly check-in we have $8.12 in our roundup, which means we had a boatload of transactions from our savings account. Um, so yeah. All right, let me work this out and I'll be right back. I'm not sure if you can see the numbers on here, so I apologize if you can't. Um, I'll change it next week if, if you can't see it. Beautiful. So that's that done. And we're just over halfway now, which is so cool. Um, Cause once that's done, that's going to go back into our Mojo category to boost up our account buffer, which will be very, very nice and is absolutely necessary. Cause it makes me a bit nervous just having that at 300. Okay. We can pop that back in there now. And now let's do our weekly check-in. Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Let me just, will I zoom you in a tiny bit? Yeah, why not? Okay, so, groceries, take out, petrol, and chemist. So, groceries, we finished up last week with 105.61. We added 50, we spent $518.03. Uh, so we're in the negative, 362.42. Um, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, now, on takeout, uh, we had negative 54. We put in 108, but like I said, because we stayed later, uh, then we thought we um, we end up spending more on takeaway. I haven't done that figure, I don't think, um, properly. Uh, okay. Uh, so we spent one thirty three seventy nine, which means we're down seventy nine seventy nine because that went down to fifty four to cancel out that basically. Uh, petrol, we started with nothing. We added 90. I filled up at super cheap prices. So it was only $69. So we have 21 left in there. I'm just going to give that an itty bitty top up today. Cause I, I have about, I think I have half a tank left. Um, so hopefully I don't need to fill up. Like I'll just do a little top up until my, when I would normally add to that next fortnight, next week. Uh, chemist had 40. We added 15, I've spent 26 just on extra Nurofen, painkillers, stuff like that. So we've got 29 left sitting there. That will likely go this week because I have to do my normal medications refill. Um, one of mine or six monthly, I should say. Um, okay, so <clears throat> in terms of a budget plan out, this is basically what I'm going to do for the rest of this year slash next year. So I have just created a little... <laughs> A little, I'll go through this with you in a minute. A little, I chose orange for October because, you know, why wouldn't you? Um, I don't know if you can see all of that, but anyway. Um, 
It's a little seven by nine and I've punched it for the happy planner. Um, I think it will do the job. I'll make some tweaks to it as I go through the month if it's working or not. It's just basic, you guys, because that's all I need. Um, so if you guys are interested, I will probably, I will probably put it up in the Etsy store. Um, just, just like this. So I'll print it out for you and I'll punch it and maybe I'll sell it as a digital as well. If you would rather that there's just a few things I need to tweak, just like alignments and things like that. Um, and go through obviously and do the different colors for different months. Um, and that sort of thing. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Like, I think it's just going to serve the purpose that I need it to serve for now. Um, I often don't bother with the monthly calendar. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't just depends, but I'm pretty across when my bills come out at this point. Like I've got it all pretty much memorized, so I'm, I'm not too phased about it. Um, so this is my monthly budget. So what I'm going to do is at the start of every month, I'm going to do a budget for the whole month and then do my budget, like my paycheck breakdowns, just because then at the end of the month, I can come back and compare the actual, because I feel like that's really useful information. Like doing the weekly check-in, is kind of useful but also it does always look like we're overspending in groceries but then when I go back and look at what we've spent for the month we're not actually over what we budgeted so it's just a it's a timing issue with how I'm managing that which I'm hoping to get on top of this month um so probably our groceries budget might blow out a little this month maybe I'm not sure um but yeah that's how I'm trying to do it so I've written this all out already just so that it's a bit quicker for me to just go through with you if you're interested if you're not and you just want to see the paycheck budget just skip ahead a little bit um but our regular income for this month so that includes anything we get from our government benefits and my husband's paycheck seven thousand eight hundred and sixty two dollars we get a child support payment of one thousand two hundred and twenty nine I'm hoping and I'm bringing in three hundred and ninety dollars from my Etsy um, I'm not going to budget on bringing on, bring in income from Etsy unless basically I've already done it. So this is in this week's budget. Um, just because my Etsy income is obviously not, not regular. It's variable. It's very variable. So I don't want to bank on money coming in if it's not gonna. Um, so yeah, basically I'll only be, you know, we only spend from Etsy money if it's already there. I don't, I don't count on it coming in. Um, so rent oh my god just i'm just gonna have a sip of water and a breath because i'm like talking too fast and making myself breathless okay so rent is going to be 2480 this month that's the last time we'll have that payment before it goes up in november our internet will be 100 we've still got a couple more months of that discounted rate and then it will go up to 110. our home insurance is 49 a month our health insurance is 264 a month apple care for my daughter's ipad is six a month the kids swimming lessons is 320 a month, Spotify 24, Xbox for my husband, that just went up. They shot that up by like $4 a month. Like when it was like $19 before, that just feels a little bit outrageous. But anyway, $23 a month for his Xbox, 15 for Apple iCloud storage, 19 for Netflix, 17 for YouTube. And I have just realized I have left Binge out of this budget again. Why do I never remember Binge? I'm gonna have to find that money from somewhere. And maybe I will just add it in here because I know that it's going to be in the actual column. <laughs> but it should only be $2, I think. So that's fine. So groceries is getting $1,735. Takeaway, $300 for the month. Petrol, $220. Tolls is $40. Although I don't actually know that we'll need to do that because I already have $40 sitting there for when it ever comes out next. Mikey is getting $8. Chemist is getting 70 for the month. Dog food, uh, 66 because I just ordered a massive bag of dog food for them. So hopefully I shouldn't need to order until probably early November. Bones for them is getting $84. Neo Walk, which is the walking stick that I ordered, is getting 200 and that's coming out of here. Uh, and plus the money that I unstuffed from medical, but that's obviously not in this budget because it was already in there. Clothes is getting 180 and that's what we've spent on my husband while we were out and about today. Uh, pocket money is 110 that covers all three of my kids for the month and then I've just broken down my cash envelope sinking funds into what binders they're going to so our home binder will be getting 750 for the month car binder will be getting 290 life binder will be getting 160 medical 115 school 255 
pets 100, fun 90, events 185, that includes Christmas, birthdays 160, and savings challenges of various varieties, including mini Mondays, month ahead, crystal binder, and my regular savings challenge will be getting 460. And then our debt payments will be our visa for 286 and our MasterCard for 160, totaling 446. So that is a zero-based budget for the month. That is every single dollar that we're expecting to come in accounted for for the month. So anything that deviates from that, any extra income we get, anything like that will be allocated in the in the week by week budget, like in our paycheck budgets. And then we'll be able to see it in the actuals at the end of the month, which yeah, I just feel like is helpful um, for me anyway, it's helpful for me. <laughs> okay, so paycheck one is our regular paycheck of 2635 and then I'm bringing in that Etsy income of 390. Now we're doing 692 rent. And I think that's all, that is all of our um, fixed expenses for this paycheck. And then we've got groceries. Are you ready for this, you guys? Because I'm not, this feels painful. We're doing $915. So I'm trying to cover all of that overspending that we've done and hopefully give us enough for the next two weeks um, so that we get back on track so that we're not constantly chasing our tail in the negative with that. But we'll, we'll see how we go. Uh, takeaway is getting 80 and that is purely to cover the overspending we've already done. We will have a takeaway free week this week. Petrol is getting 10, just so that I can top up my tank a little bit. Chemist is also getting 10. Mine and hubby's spending, which I actually don't feel like was in here, but it must have been, was it? Hmm. I feel like I must have messed that up. I'll have to go back and double check because it should have been in there. Um, I think I must have just missed a line. Now I've lost track of where I was. Okay, our spending is getting 20, so that'll be $10 each. Clothes is getting 180, because uh, we went and bought some, just a couple of items for hubby and a couple of things for the kids as well while we were there. Um, if he gets this new job, he will have to be in office more often, which means that we will have to go out and buy him a couple of pairs of like suit pants and a couple more shirts um, to wear. So. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I think, um, yeah, even if he gets offered it, it will depend what, what kind of salary and things they can offer him um, compared to where he is now. So, and the Neo Walk is getting 200. So that totals $1,415, leaving us with 920. So, of that, the kids are getting $10 each in their pocket money this week. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't say the kids. It's just the older two. Um, I should have pulled this out so I'm not writing on the um, discs. And then, and then, and then, and then, uh, everything else. I didn't total up everything else separately, but all cash envelopes and challenges... Sorry, guys, I'm a bit all over the shop today. Clearly is getting 460, no, 450, I think. Holy moly. So that totals 460. And that should leave us with um, should leave us with 450, but that's not right either. Is it? Is it? Kind of, sort of, maybe not really. Nine, ten. Oh no, because it didn't have that in it. That's why it's four seventy, including their pocket money. Don't mind me. <laughs> so that leaves us with four hundred and fifty, and of that, we're going to Visa and the Mastercard, two hundred ninety, and one hundred and. 
which is slightly more than what I put on here. It's just to round out, the, just how the, the numbers rounded out from this paycheck. So that's where there will be minor differences because I do paycheck budget as well as a monthly budget that sometimes it just doesn't, sometimes I just tweak the numbers to fix, fit the paycheck basically is what happens. So, you know, groceries might be a few dollars off because I've put an extra couple of dollars in here or however it flows out. So that is um, our zero base budget for um, this week. So we will see how we go. <laughs> Wish me luck with groceries, you guys, because it is the bane of my existence. Um, and I do just want to get in front of that just so that we're not always, yeah, constantly in the negative. Um, but we'll see how we go. I've got a, a decent, like a bigger amount, not quite that much, but I've got a bigger amount going to it next fortnight as well. Um, hopefully it won't be necessary. We'll just, <laughs> we'll just see. We will just see. All right, I think that is all that I have for you today. So thank you so, so much for joining me. I hope that this was helpful. Um, let me know, let me know if that, um, let me just check this because that's going to bother me. Let me know if, if seeing the monthly breakdown is helpful for you or if it's boring or um, you're not interested, whatever. Because what I thought I would do is, yeah, in the first week of the month, go through that and then... Um, in the last week of the month. Yeah, there we go. I did just miss it. What a nut. So mine and hubby's spending for the month will be $140. So we get $70 each. Um, plus I get YouTube and he gets Xbox. So <laughs> that's how, that's kind of how we work out our spending for now. Um, if Etsy keeps going well, I'd love to give us a little bit more spending money each, but um, we don't really need it. We're not big spenders. So you know, and if our grocery budget keeps going how it is, that's where that money has to go. Um, but yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so, so much for joining me. As I said, I hope this is helpful and I will see you tomorrow for mini Mondays. I'm pretty sure my littlest wants to give me a hand with that. So you will see her tiny little fingers tomorrow um, with her little fairy that she's made me here. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will see you then. I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you had a really good weekend and good luck to any parents with kiddies heading back to school tomorrow. Yeek. All right. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.